Creating these amazing and stunning gradients can be easily done in Adobe Illustrator using freeform gradients, which is recently introduced in Adobe Illustrator, and it's way better than using the gradient mesh or even the regular gradient. So let's see how we can be applying these amazing gradients, maybe for applying shading on our shapes or stunning color effects within our design. So let me zoom in that artboard. If we start drawing maybe a circle using the ellipse tool, pressing Alt and Shift to draw it maybe in here. Then switching to gradient panel. Now we have linear, radial, or even freeform gradient. So we can be applying that one on our circle. Now instantly you can see amazing gradient applied on our circle. So let me even zoom in. And we have three bends within our circle. We can be selecting any of these bends. They look exactly like these bends in Puppet Warp tool. And let's even change that color by double clicking that bend. We can select maybe that nice orange. Or even this one. Or we can be using the eyedropper to select any color within our artboard. So maybe let's select that one. And it's going to be like that. Or we can be double clicking our bin again and customizing our color from here as well. So let me get that orange again. And selecting our bin once again. Let's maybe say we need to change its location. We can be dragging our bin around just like that to have a very stunning effect. Or maybe you can start adding even more colors by adding more bins. So we have that plus icon by default on our mouse. We can be clicking maybe in that area and it will be adding by default the same color. We can be double clicking that bin and applying maybe another orange and let's maybe select this one as well double clicking our bin and let's maybe apply that color now as you can see we have that amazing color blending in here we didn't even do anything we are adding few bins and you can see that nice transition between colors we have that sort of green in here and also we have nice orange transition between these two colors and even we can be controlling the spreading of each color. So let's maybe select that one. We have that dotted circle around our bin. We can be controlling this one to increase the range of our color. Like that. So let's maybe add another color as well in that area. And double clicking that color. We have a spread option as well in here. We can control that one from that slider. Then we can be applying our color. So you can change that one as you want, or you can be changing your color. So let's maybe select that circle in here using our selection tool. Now we can see our color stops or these bins within our circle. However, we can see that gradient in here. So in order to see them, we can be pressing G to select our gradient tool or you can select your gradient tool as well from your toolbar and you will see your color stops you can be customizing them or even you can be drawing in lines instead of points so let's maybe draw another circle selecting our ellipse tool and maybe draw this one in here we can be applying our freeform gradient and as usual, we can be accessing them as well from our properties panel. So let's maybe select our points. And I'm going to be deleting them. And same as well for this one. Pressing delete on keyboard. You can be selecting that one. And maybe let's draw in lines. Selecting lines. Changing our color. Maybe that dark gray. Then I'm going to be dropping another color stop, then another one. And as you can see, it's going to transform into a curve, just like using curvature tool. Then I'm going to keep going around that circle all the way to here. Then let's maybe start drawing another one within our circle with a brighter color, brighter gray color.
then I'm gonna be switching to points and adding a point in that area with a slightly brighter color then deselecting my then let's deselect our circle pressing command and clicking outside and we have that nice gradient radial color of course we can do that with using radial gradient however in that case we have more control over our gradient especially if we're applying that gradient on a very complicated shape we can be easily controlling our gradient within our shape and as usual complicated shapes are usually made by simple shapes so for instance we have that circle we can start duplicating that one or maybe use multiple circles with different gradient and maybe have a shape like that one in here or maybe that one and so on I'm pretty sure you're gonna be loving this tool once you start messing around with this amazing tool